Yeah. Yeah. Squincher Outdoors is brought to you by these fine companies. Rustic Timbers Furniture Company. Pinnegar Chevrolet. Midwest Archery. Scotty's Trout Dock and Marina. Dixie Outfitters. White River Dive Company. Fourth Arrow Camera Arms. Winsent Vapor Scent Systems. Tops Camouflage. Hot Shot Manufacturing. Clear Target Archery Lenses. Botech Archery. Excalibur Crossbows. Victory Archery Arrows. Spartan Camera. Racks Bow Rack Displays. And Torch Eyewear. Hi, I'm Keith Reen with Squincher Outdoors TV. When we left you last week, my best friend and hunting partner Tony Wodley and I had just completed some great hunts in central Missouri. On this week's show, team members Travis Day and Laramie Shaver share a couple of Midwest hunts of their own. Laramie is brand new to hunting in front of the camera, but as you'll see, it didn't take him long to get hooked. Stick around for the action on Squincher Outdoors TV. Closed captioning brought to you by Habitat Taxidermy, the official taxidermist of the Squincher Outdoors team. Hey guys, Keith Reen here with Squincher Outdoors. I want to take a quick minute to show you the latest product from Squincher for 2018. It's called Everlight, and it's got all the benefits that you're used to out of a Squincher product, except now it's in a very user-friendly package. You can store this away in your backpack, in your boat, anywhere you need to. You're going to want to try to pick some of this up. You know you want to stay hydrated. Everlight's the way to go. Midwest Archery, located on Highway 13 in Springfield, Missouri, is not your average archery shop. The beautiful large rustic showroom is loaded with top brand products for bow hunting, bow fishing, and more, including a giant selection of compound and traditional bows, arrows, and all the essential accessories. Try everything out on the spacious archery range that is second to none. With established relationships with national dealers and brands, Midwest Archery has incredible prices on quality products online at MidwestArchery.com. Scotty's Trout Dock and Marina is located on Lake Tanicomo in Branson Lakeside RV Park. Scotty's is a full service marina and one of a kind trout fishing experience. Not only can you catch a stringer of trout from area docks, you can also rent John boats, bass boats, or choose a pontoon from the largest fleet on the lake. At Scotty's you can purchase live bait, fishing license, or rent tackle so that you're always prepared. If you're in Branson, find out why everyone's crazy about Scotty's. White River Dive Company in Branson, Missouri is the ultimate resource for your diving needs. Whether it's your first breath underwater or you're ready to take your skills to the professional level. Being a five-star instructor development center with qualified professional association of diving instructors and dive masters, let them make your next diving adventure fun and exciting and provide you with your desired certification. Ready to scuba dive? Table Rock Lake offers exceptional opportunities to spear fish and explore an abundance of wildlife. Don't forget, White River Dive Company is a full-service repair shop and ready to tackle your diving needs. On this particular morning, things got happening really quick for Laramie.
I'm just so freaking excited right now. We got a deer down at 75 yards. <clears throat> he maybe ran, I don't know, 100, 120 in total. Um, so Travis and I have hunted several times and we got to talking about <clears throat> doing the pre-interviews in the dark in the morning. And though it's a cool effect, uh, we didn't want to um, you know, pinpoint our location or give ourselves away. Um, today, it was a vital decision because we're doing the morning interview now and we have a deer on the ground. We're talking 15 minutes after legal shooting light, little boy come in and right behind him, this eight that we're anxious to get our hands on, 15 yards max, made a, made a scrape, got great footage of him making a scrape, not even on our mock scrape. Um, just a beautiful encounter and interaction and then punched him. Tech did its job. Thirsty got a drink, and the hunt for Blood October is in full swing, baby. Boom. Thank you, Travis. I'm so pumped. First first uh, kill on TV, you know, on, on camera. Um, I couldn't be more grateful for Travis bringing me out here, putting me on, on good deer, and just, uh, you know, having a good time um, being in the woods hunting. So we're going to show you this bad boy here in a little bit. Look at the character on this guy. He got kind of a flat blade here on this tine. He uh little knob coming off here. Look at the interesting character of his base there. But boy, you can smell his tarsals. You can see bark up in his uh, antlers here. Of course, we saw him making the scrape right before the shot. Um, he's got some nubs here where his tines have been broke off or wore off from fighting. Um, it's just the, the next couple of weeks is just going to get more and more exciting. Um, I'm going to get to be behind the camera and we're going to see if we can't put some more antler on the ground. Um, as Travis likes to say, it's about time we let the air out of something. Um, what, a, what a really beautiful, beautiful buck. Uh, good harvest. Again, exciting stuff to, to see the changes that they're going through and the, and the action that uh, that's going to be occurring in the woods here over the next couple of weeks as they start to uh, to hook up with the does and, and start moving a lot more. So we're gonna get this guy cleaned up and, and taken out of here and um, show it off to the wife and, and kids and tell the stories and have a good, good morning here. Travis brought in the reinforcements this morning. And Amy and Isaac and Terry, the family coming to pick up this deer. It's good to have young kids around. 
Don't have to hurt our backs. <laughs> Good morning. We got one. Good job. Hey. Hey. Did we disturb you this morning? Yeah, you did actually. <laughs> All right, well, we got him back out here where we first encountered him this morning. Um, again, we're 20 yards from the base of the tree right now, about five yards from the scrape he was making. Um, of course, sitting up in the tree with the tops camo on, uh, had our squincher drinks uh, at our side, and uh, Old Thirsty the Botech got got her drink this morning. She's uh, got a beautiful animal here. Uh, just a wonderful experience again. Thanks to, to Travis and uh, Squincher Outdoors team, uh, just for the great opportunities and the ability to put this thing on camera. Uh, can't wait to get back to uh, the lodge, as they say, but really back to the, the restaurant and uh, review the footage. Just take a look at what you know what we put down this morning and and uh, just enjoy this uh, this wonderful experience, this great hunt and get this animal cleaned up and processed. We like chasing big bucks, and getting where we need to be is not always easy. That's why we depend on Vinegar Chevrolet Buick GMC of Branson to get us where we need to go. Vinegar's friendly and knowledgeable sales staff will help you find just the right vehicle to get you on your way. And for the Squincher Outdoors team, that's back on and off the road. For a powerful pickup truck or a spacious SUV, go check out the huge inventory at Pinnaker Chevrolet Buick GMC of Branson. Dixie Outfitters in beautiful Branson, Missouri has become an annual tourist destination for family and friends. With dozens of colors in every size, custom tees are our specialty. Whatever your interest, we got you all covered. We've added a touch of the south to high quality leather hand tool belts, wallets, knives, flags, and much more. Y'all come check out the General Lee and Roscoe's Patrol Car, signed by Dukes of Hazard cast members, and be sure to check us out online at BransonDixieOutfitters.com. Now we join Travis Day on a self-filmed rifle hunt in his home state of Missouri. It's November 15th. Sweet November. I'm self-filming tonight. My cameramen are all busy. Terry is in school. Corey was at work. And Laramie's wife just had a baby. So congratulations to them. She had it the other day. Little Cadence, I think, got to come home today, so it's awesome. She looks like a little sweetheart, that's for sure. But I'm out here trying to let the air out of something tonight by myself. I got my rifle, and I set up in a stand I call Gunner One. It looks over about 300 yards of nothing but fields. So I'm trying to get it done. The weather's been hit and miss. 
warmed up a little bit today, but a couple days ago it was frigid, cold, snow on the ground. Wind's blowing today, you can tell. It's kind of crazy, but it's all right. Muddy walk out here. I hate that. Other than that, though, it's always a good thing just to be sitting in the in a stand and observing wildlife. There was already a yearling underneath my stand when I got here. So hopefully I can knock something down. Rustic Timbers Furniture in Branson, Missouri offers only the finest quality of rustic furniture, unique decor, and one-of-a-kind taxidermy artwork. Whether you're looking for that perfect piece of furniture for your log cabin or ready to turn your present decor into a rustic dream, with hardwood beds, dressers, and nightstands, you can bring a touch of nature and wilderness to your home or office. And personalized pieces can add a touch of nature to any room. At Rustic Timbers Furniture, there's something for everybody. is down. He 
you come following a doe right out here. I mean, wasn't a 30 yard shot. And I'm pretty sure I just put a good shot on high riser. That deer is a good three and a half year old deer. He's been really making his rounds around here. And I've been hunting that deer along with the deer we call Rio. But we only got one picture of Rio. I think he fell right over here. If I'm not, because I saw him go in there and then he stopped and he staggered. So we're gonna sit here a second and uh, I'm gonna call a couple of my buddies because it's muddy and I'm gonna need help getting that big boy out of here. High riser is down. Got I got him. Come out here, I self-filmed it. Doe got real nervous because I was all tied up in my my harness. I'm watching more deer out in the field right now. High riser took a shot at 25 yards and ran in here. And I don't know how far he is down in the woods, but now we got to contact the party so I can get him drug out of here. Tonight was the night. High riser come following a doe out at about 35, 40 yards, and I was able to put a shot on him. I was unsure about the shot, so I waited. I called my buddies. I reviewed footage. I found where the blood went into the woods, but I didn't want to push him, so I waited for a couple hours, and we came back, and now we're gonna go find this deer. Hopefully he's not at the bottom of the hill. He's headed deep in the bedding area, which I know that's where he feels safe, but I'm hoping he's not too far in there. And I got these guys here because Today, the, like I said, it thawed out, everything's muddy, and it's a 575 yard walk back to the car. So, let's go find him. Right here's where I found the blood going into it. It's already kind of changed colors, but oh, here's some more blood on these branches. These leaves are holding blood. Oh, right here's a pool of blood, he's hurting. I didn't see that. I didn't walk into the woods, I didn't want to bump him, so. More blood right here. Looks like a staggering mark right there. Ah, right there he is. He didn't go in there but another 15 feet from from where we were on the edge. My stand's only 40 yards right over there. And I knew I seen him sit right here. But uh, he must have just got in this little ditch and fell over right there. That is a deer I call high riser. Me and Laramie saw this deer while we were uh while we were Oh, he's stiff. Hey, he's been dead for a while. I should have come got him earlier. I was a little unsure of that shot, though. That blood had me a little concerned. It was dark red, and I didn't see no bubbles in it or nothing, but man, what a deer. Look at this deer. Laramie and I, we were hunting the day before rifle season with a bow and rattled him in the 70 yards, but he still had his, his brow tine and his G3 over here, and man, he's probably missing 10, 10 to 12 inches, but what a good deer. Man, I'm out of breath. Who'd have known 40 yards was that much of a workout? But when you're dragging a hog like this out, man, this deer's got a big body. He's He's been working these crops over. And, and he's been working himself over, man. He's scarred up. He's got all kinds of scars back here and broken G3 and this brow time. But uh, truthfully, that's that's not what it's about. It's, it's about the hunt and being out there with Mother Nature and enjoying it. And that's exactly what happened tonight. So I am I am so blessed and so thankful and so appreciative of, of good friends like Corey and Laramie and Terry. They came out tonight and they're gonna help me get this deer out of here because it's a long walk back to the car and the first 40 yards about killed me. So uh, man, I'm I'm just so blessed. I, I really am. I wanna I wanna thank the followers out there who keep up with Squincher Outdoors. And without y'all, uh, we couldn't enjoy this and and. I want to thank Tops Camo and and Winsent, Fourth Arrow Camera Arms, and and Hearts Peak, Grant Gedekin out of Nebraska. You you grew another one that that was worthy of chasing. I appreciate it. And uh, special shout out to Cadence. Uh, she's a three day old baby. It's Laramie's brand new baby girl, and uh, he uh, he wasn't able to come out and film tonight. And uh, so I uh, I asked uh, I asked for a little luck out of cadence and I think she gave me all she had because this dude he just read the script perfectly followed that doe out to the food and, and I was able to self film it and, and get on him and uh, make a good shot that uh, I was a little hesitant of but uh, it, it did definitely work out for the best
Hey, you better not be into my squincher, Bailey. Hey, do you think with the bucks chasing all the does right now during the rut, that they're craving squincher as much as you and I do? Me too. Hey, I got an idea. Let's go. For your hydration needs with Squincher, you really do get more for your bucks. Mm -hmm. 